Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Larry and this is Dad What's for Dinner and tonight we're making arrows con pollo or rice with chicken. This is a Latin inspired dish and this particular recipe I'm taking adapting from uh, America's Test Kitchen. Shout out to them and if I remember I'll link up here somewhere to uh, the video where they're preparing this. Um, it's a pretty straightforward, simple ingredient uh, recipe. The method is pretty straightforward. It's basically just a rice dish with chicken cooked into it. The real uh, fun part about this recipe is just the, the melding of flavors and everything that comes together in the end. So let's go ahead and let's have some fun. We'll get right into it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, we're going to start off by making a flavor base called sofrito, and that's basically just a blend of some aromatics. So we're going to go ahead and start. Um, I, it, this is just one bunch of uh, cilantro, the way that it comes from the market. Stems and leaves and everything. Uh, five to six cloves of uh, minced garlic. And all this is going into the blender, so it doesn't really matter how well you chop it up. This is a half of a regular sized white onion, just diced up. And then this is two chopped up uh, poblano peppers. You could use green peppers, but it's not quite as quote unquote authentic. Uh, you could use um, Anaheim peppers, you know, whatever kind of pepper flavor profile you like. I particularly just like poblanos in this. And then this is a uh, teaspoon of cumin. All right, so then put the lid on this. And blend her until she's smooth. As you can see, this is a uh, very, uh, I wouldn't say liquidy, but it, it's very finely pureed, which is what we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. And that is to create a cream sauce that we're going to use to finish this. And we want to do this now to give the, the sauce a chance to uh, wake up all the flavors in all of this. Okay, so the really observant here will notice that I'm using the same blender. I haven't cleaned it out. I just scraped it out. I'm going to go ahead and put two tablespoons of our sofrito blend in there, a pinch or an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, salt. I got a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice and a half a cup of mayo. And then we're going to blend that up until it's all smooth. Okay, so that is about where we want it. Um, then you go ahead and just transfer this into a bowl, put it in the refrigerator until we need it, when then we're ready to plate up. Okay, moving on here. We've got approximately two pounds of bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs that we're going to go ahead and season. Uh, I'm going to use adobo. And again, for those of you that aren't regular watchers, this is salt, garlic, uh, black pepper, oregano, and turmeric. If you don't have adobo, just regular salt and pepper, whatever normal seasoning that you would use on poultry. I think America's Test Kitchen uses salt and pepper. But I like this. We're going to go ahead and salt both sides, or season both sides. It's not really salting. And, yeah. We're going to let this set out at room temperature for probably about 10 minutes and then we're going to come back we'll pat it dry and then we'll get it get it into the uh roasting uh roasting dish we're going to go ahead and rinse our rice i have here just two cups of rice and we just want to rinse it till the water runs clear all right i don't know how well this is going to pick up on camera but the water you can see it's it's not crystal clear, but it's not cloudy either. And that's kind of what you're going for. So we're just going to go ahead and let that rice drain. 
All right, so it's been about 10 minutes on this chicken. And as you can see, I'm hoping that it picks up. There's a lot of moisture that's been drawn out and we wanna go ahead and just pat these dry. And that will make the next step much easier, which is getting these into the cooking oil because we're going to want to render out some of this fat and get some crispiness on this meat. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We got here our, our trusty handy dandy Dutch oven. To do that, we're going to add um, about a tablespoon of oil. I'm using uh, avocado, but pretty much any neutral kind of oil. And we want to get that uh, heated up and shimmering. We're going to go ahead and put this chicken in skin side down. And you know the oil is ready because you can hear that sizzle. We're going to let that go for somewhere between seven to nine minutes. We want that skin to brown up and render out fat. And then, uh, once we get there, we'll go ahead and flip it and do another seven to nine minutes. Okay, so it's been on about another eight minutes. And this chicken is pretty well cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off. And we're gonna take this chicken out of the pan. And the next step that we have If we're going to go ahead and take out the oil from the pan. So what I'm going to do is just kind of tilt and dip. And we're going to get out most of the oil, not all. We want to leave about two tablespoons of oil in here. So go ahead and do that. And try to avoid what I just did. You want to leave those bits in there because that's flavor. And maybe a little bit more. I think that that's going to be my two tablespoons. So our next step, we're going to go ahead and put in um, the other half of the onion. We used a half of an onion for the sauce, and now we have the other half of that onion. Uh, this is diced up pretty fine. And I'm going to go ahead and season with adobo. And we're not really looking to get color on these onions. We just want them to get a little translucent. And that's going to take about two to three minutes. All right, so while we're waiting uh, for those onions to cook. I'm going to go ahead and remove the skin and see if I can do this without burning myself because this is still really hot. But you don't, um, you want to save it for snacking. I would recommend cooking it a little bit further because this chicken isn't necessarily at the temperature. But go ahead and set that aside and then we'll get back to our onions. All right, so this has probably been about two minutes. And like I said, we don't, aren't necessarily looking for color there. We're just getting those onions translucent. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add in uh, Saison seasoning. This is Conculantio y Achiote. And I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Uh, if you're looking for this in your grocery store, it's usually like in the uh, international food aisle. Anyway, you want to add this now so that the, the hot oil can, uh, their fat soluble uh, compounds in there. We want to go ahead and add that now to bloom those flavors. And that will just take about 20 or 30 seconds. Uh -huh. 
And then once that has bloomed, we're going to go ahead and add uh, two cups of broth, chicken stock or broth, whatever you have that you want to use. And you want to go ahead and deglaze, which is just a fancy word for scraping up all the brown bits off the bottom. And I apologize, I think I just messed up, but it'll still all work out in the end. Um, you Before you add the broth, you want to add your rice. Because um, it, I mean, this, this dish is still going to turn out. It's still going to cook. It's still going to be great. But it would have been better if I had uh, fried the rice a little bit before I added the broth. But not the end of the world. So I'm going to go ahead and add my rice. And then I'm also going to add in the sofrito that's been getting all those flavors melded together. And there is a product that you can get in the grocery store called sofrito. And if you didn't want to make your own, it certainly would make this easier. But, you know, it's six of one, half dozen of the other. And we're going to give that a mix. Okay, so as this is coming back up to a boil, we're going to add some other things here. We're going to start off with two tablespoons of rinsed capers. And then we have here a quarter cup of sliced uh, green olives with pimentos on it. If you don't like the green olives, you don't necessarily have to add them, but it, it's a good flavor combo. We have here... Um, Sorry, two tablespoons of lemon juice. And we're going to give that a good stir. Get that really well incorporated. And then I'm going to put in uh, two to three bay leaves. Get those incorporated. And... I'm going to go ahead and give this broth just a little taste. See if it needs any more additional seasoning. I'm going to add a little bit more adobo. Okay, so we're at a full boil. I'm going to go ahead and kill the heat. Give that a stir. I make sure that we scrape the bottom. Make sure there's nothing sticking on the bottom at this time. We're going to go ahead and add our chicken back to the pot. And, oops, any accumulated juices. We're going to go ahead and put the lid on that. We're going to put it inside a 350 degree oven, uh, probably about 20 or 30 minutes. Okay. So it's been about a half hour. Well, not about. It's been a half hour. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and pull this out. And we're just going to set it here. And we're going to let that set for about 15 minutes, leaving it covered. Okay. It has been 15 minutes. And we've just let this rest with the lid on and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to pull the chicken out of that pot and 
Now, at this point, you can do a couple different things. You could leave the chicken whole and serve each piece of chicken with, you know, a commensurate serving of rice. Or you can do what I'm going to do, and that's separate the chicken from the bone, take the chicken off the bone, shred it up, and put it back in the rice. Uh, before I get there, though, I'm going to go ahead and buff up the rice a little bit. Oh, the smells, the smells. Okay, so to that, I'm going to add, uh, that's about a half a cup of frozen peas that are, you know, the, the recipe calls for thawed, but I mean, at this point, it doesn't really matter because they will cook. I'll go ahead and pull out the bay leaves as we see them. There's another one. Got one more hiding in there. And I'm not, oh, there it is. So we got all three. I'm going to put the lid back on that. Let that, those peas kind of cook. Okay, so I apologize. The video for this kind of got messed up and this got started halfway through. Uh, what we're going to do here is just go ahead and uh, pull the meat off the bone, just shred it up by hand. Uh, the meat's cooled off just enough. It's still pretty hot, but, you, you know, my hands are pretty tough. So uh, if you can't do it, it's too hot. You can either use forks, as you can see there, or you can just let it cool off a little bit longer. But the end result is you want to go ahead and pull all the meat off the bones. All right. So once we have all that meat shredded up, we're going to go ahead and return it to the, uh, the Dutch oven here. Just get it in the pan. So we go ahead and fold that chicken in, just give it a good stir. And at this point, we are ready to serve. We're ready to go ahead and plate up, go ahead and portion this out. Scoop some in there. And then we're going to uh, garnish with a piece of that fried uh, chicken skin that we have. And then we'll take the cream sauce that we prepared earlier, drizzle that over, give it a good squeeze, and maybe a little more. And then we're ready. I'm Larry. This has been Dad What's for Dinner. Tonight it was Eros Con Pollo. If you like this video, make sure you... Uh, like, share, subscribe. If you have any comments, go ahead and drop them down below. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care and God bless.